Hi everyone, I'm Joanne Fink for Sakura, and I'm here because I want to share all the cool Sakura supplies that I love. I'm a huge Sakura fan, you might even call me a Sakura fanatic. I have every kind of pen that they make and I love them all. And I want to show you all the neat things that they do. So let's get started. I am sitting here surrounded by all my favorite Sakura supplies, and I can't wait to show you what they all do. So we're going to start with souffle. There are 10 different colors. The nice thing about souffle is that they are raised. You can use them on paper, but you can also use them on objects. And let me show you what I mean. This is a shiny plastic frame, and I wish you could rub your finger over this the way I am, it's actually raised. Souffle dries very slowly, but it will work on a slick plastic. Souffle is great for personalization. Scissors in my house have a way of walking off, so I even used souffle to write on my kitchen scissors in hopes that they will stay in the kitchen. I want you to see that when the souffle comes out, it's actually a lot darker than it dries. It starts out one color, but it dries an opaque pastel. And some colors change more than others. The green didn't have much change at all, but look how dark this blue comes out of the pen. But it's going to dry like that. One of the nice things about souffle is it looks great on light and it looks great on dark. But probably the most notable feature about souffle is that you can write on other surfaces besides paper. I recently discovered Sakura glaze pens and I must say I'm probably not the only one who likes them because they come in a lot of colors which is really great. Come in a bright set and they come in what I would call a more sophisticated home decor kind of set. And let me show you some of the really cool things that you can do with both. The glaze pens can write on different surfaces. They are raised, and unlike souffle, which is matte, the glaze are clear and shiny, which I just think is really cool. I've used it in this pre-embossed folder that I bought, and I just flooded the color, and it just gives a really cool effect. Because glaze will work on any surface, I was able to take the ceramic jewelry that was plain and decorate it with blue and black glaze. On this one, I did the dream in the pen touch, but the blue and black lines are glaze, and I just think it gives a really interesting and unique look. I hope you can see this. Um, I've used three different colors of the glaze on black, as I have here and what a unique look just this tone on tone shiny on black how cool that is I'm going to just show you how to do it because it's so easy you push on the glaze until it starts to come out it just almost pours out of the pen and it's very easy to thicken up the strokes so that you get large areas to contrast with your smaller areas. And it's the contrast, I think, that makes it look really cool. This is a little piece that I did using a mix of everything. See if you can catch the shine. All this black is done in, in the glaze so it just pops off the page in person. We even have a little bit of souffle here. One of the things I like best about Sakura, not only are the supplies really well made, just top quality, you can mix and match all the supplies. And I really like texture. I think that whatever I do, whether it's just line work is fine, but in an original piece, if I can combine and contrast a matte with a gloss or a glitter with the metallic, it just adds a lot of interest to my work. 
So, I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can combine things in your work. The next pen that I want to tell you about is Stardust. Stardust means glitter. And as you can see, it comes in 12 different colors. There's two different packages of six. And the glitter is really rich and intense, and it adds a beautiful shimmer to things. This is a piece that my daughter did, and she used every color of Stardust imaginable, which really shimmers when you hold it up to the light. And as an added surprise, there is Stardust Clear. And this basically just comes out as clear glitter. So if I have a matte finish and I just want a little bit of glitter or a glaze finish, I can just add little tiny strokes of glitter. Let's say that I just wanted to have some stars in the sky. I can just take my pen and very gently put it down and I get perfect polka dots of clear glitter. It makes my night sky shine. The next kind of pen I want to share with you are the metallics. Metallics come in two sets, light and dark, and these are the beautiful metallics that you can make. I've used a black micron here and lots of the different colors of the metallic. And the nice thing about metallic, just like the souffles, the metallic are opaque. And I will often, if I do a piece of ink work and I don't quite like one of the lines that I got in ink and I'm planning to color it, I will color it with the metallic so that I can cover up my mistake. These are the moonlights. They are awesome. They are my children's favorite tool. I try to write something with each of the different colors. But you can see that it's the same intensity for the moonlight, whether it's on light paper or dark paper. Really nice, vivid, vibrant colors. And I love the colors that Sephora has picked. You know, they really work nicely together. Another tool that Sakura makes are the Pigma brushes. And these are the colors that the brushes come in. One of the things that you can do with the brush is you can use it to easily fill in pretty large areas. It's a lot faster to use a brush to fill in large areas of color than it is to use a monoline tool. And it works on a pressure system. So when you go up, it's pretty lightweight, and when you go back, you push and the stroke swells. So you can go from this to this in very little time. You can also use it to do pattern, and you know how much I love pattern. So, that's the really nice thing about the brush. The ink is archival, the tip is really flexible, pressure will make it swell so you can get a beautiful line quality out of it. These are the color versions of my favorite tools, which are microns that I'll show you in a couple minutes. This is a set of eight colors, all in the O1. You can put a little embellishment on your tree and have a star at the top if you want. Give yourself a little bit of grounding. The best part, at least for me, is that you can letter with it. And I'll often take really simple monoline caps and just run them around the base of an image, and it really adds just a little bit of inspiration to the image. And next are the microns. And microns, if I had to pick any of Sakura's tools, 
are hands down my favorite. I never leave home without a whole handful of microns. Let me show you the uh, different sizes that the microns come in. I usually use the 01 for most of my work. Sometimes I use the 05 or even the 08 if I'm doing a really heavy piece. Sometimes I need something very delicate and then the 005 is good. But this is a piece that I did primarily with the 01. The capitals in here are built up. I've done several strokes on them. But all of these lines were done with the 01. This is a piece that I did with the 05s. You can see that the 05 line weight is a much heavier line weight. If I need something even heavier, then I switch to the graphic. This is the graphic tool, and it comes with two chisel-edged tips and one monoline tip that gives you lines that are really thick and black and rich. And if I need to do something for a poster or something that's really bold, or if I have a lot of filling in of black to do, this is my tool of choice. And if I'm doing something really big that I need to work on a surface other than paper, Sakura makes these wonderful metallic pen touch pens. They come in silver, gold, and white, and they come in different sizes. I did both of these with this five millimeter size, so you can write compactly or you can write really wide. And I think that this is very cool because it's a block. And then I used a little bit of the smaller silver one to embellish on the top. Next, I want to introduce you to a real treat. This is the Koi watercolor set. It comes in different sizes. This is the big size. And this, which fits just in the palm of your hand, is the small size. This is perfect for just putting in your pocketbook and traveling because it comes with its own water brush. And so all you need is a little pad of paper and you never have to leave home without your watercolors again. These are just a couple of watercolor samples that I did. It's nice to fill in big letters. You can do traditional watercolor painting with it or embellish your art journals or your scrapbooks. And what I like about them is they're compact and the colors are really rich. I hope that you will enjoy playing with Sakura supplies as much as I do. Thanks for watching and have fun doodling.